Okay, for those of you in my honor section, I need you to go ahead and uh, try to also learn how to do factoring by grouping. Now, the truth is, if you get a more complicated looking one like uh, this first one here, you could always go to Desmos and see if you can get your solutions. And in this case, I can get three solutions, negative one, positive one, and three. So each of those solutions would give me a factor. That means I would expect this to factor as an X plus one, using my first intercept of negative one. Then I would expect to have a X minus one using my next intercept of the positive one. And then I would expect to have an X minus uh, three using my last X intercept of negative three. The problem with this is sometimes in Desmos, you're gonna have uh, fractions that are expressed as decimals, or worse yet, radicals, so you might not always be able to get the exact solution, and some of you might prefer learning how to do these without having to rely on a calculator. So if I'm going to uh, factor with uh, one of these cubic polynomials that has a lot of terms, grouping is a good way to do it, and the most common way to group is to split it in half and to say, what can I divide out of the first half and the second half? So when I try to divide a GCF out of the first half, the first half can be divided by an X squared, so I take out a GCF of X squared out of that first half, and that leaves me with an X minus three. Then I say, well, what divides out of the second half? The second half doesn't really have anything to come out, but since it starts with a minus, remember we don't like a minus in front, so go ahead and divide out a minus one, and that gives me a minus one, and I'll change it to an X minus three. Now, if your attempt at grouping has been successful, and what I mean by that is, first of all, you have not made a mistake, and second of all, this problem actually can be factored using grouping, these two parentheses should always match. So you should have matching parentheses, x minus three and x minus three. And basically, it's almost like I'm factoring out this x minus three, and then I'm saying, what is left over? Well, what I have is an x minus three, and the leftover is x squared minus one. And I've used grouping to get uh, one of my factors out. I got a linear factor of x minus three out, and I'm left with an x squared minus one. Well, I'm running out of room here, but uh, the last thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and split up this x squared minus one into its factors. So it will split up as a x plus one, x minus one, and then of course, keep your factor that you already had of x minus three, so that is the same thing we figured out from our x-intercepts in Desmos without touching a graphing calculator. So x minus three, x plus one, x minus one. Now, uh, one thing that I would still recommend you do, even if you're using this grouping method, is still look for a GCF first. So if I'm looking at this next one here, I would go ahead and take out my GCF of x to the third before I attempted grouping. So when I take out x to the third, I'm left with three x to the third plus 5x squared minus 3x minus 5. So if it has a GCF, go ahead and take it out and then basically group what's left. So I'm going to go ahead and split it apart right down the middle and I'm going to say, okay, now what will divide out of this front part? Out of this front part, I can divide out a 3x squared which is gonna give me a three X squared and then a X plus five. Then I'm going to look and we'll do the second part in maybe light blue. I'm gonna say what divides out there. You might say nothing, but remember since that first thing's a negative, you can always take out a negative one. And if the first thing wasn't a negative, you could divide out a positive one. It wouldn't change much, but it would allow you to, you know, go through the process and attempt grouping. So that is a three X plus five. Now I'm noticing, oh no, my parentheses don't match. So I say either I can't group or I've made a mistake. In this case, I think you'll see that I have made a mistake because I said I could divide out a three X squared, but I could not. Uh, there was not a three to take out from the three and the five. So the only thing I could divide out was a th X squared, which means I'm going to still have a 3x sitting there. So that's a nice chance to go back, look at your work and check for a mistake. In this case, these do now match. So I'm gonna have a 3x plus five. I'll have what's left over, which is my x squared minus one. 
which I could factor again if I have more time. And then don't, 